You know, it is a big day in Richmond. The country will watch as thousands show up to rally for gun rights. This is in response to the Democrats' plan to pass tighter gun safety legislations. The Daybreak team is here to give you full coverage of the Lobby Day events. But first, we'll start off with the details of the rally. The Virginia Citizens Defense League, a nonprofit gun rights group, organized today's rally. Governor Ralph Northam temporarily banned all firearms and weapons from the Capitol Square. VCDL is urging members to be peaceful and follow the rules. State police, Richmond police, and Capitol police will be working together to make sure that rally remains a safe event. Now, Lobby Day has gained nationwide attention online and on social media. This is just a look at all the social media reaction trending from both sides of the gun debate. Ashley's here with uh, some of the posts getting the most attention. Yeah, Dan, we're going to start with a response from President Trump. So he tweeted Friday, quote, your second amendment is under a very serious attack in the great Commonwealth of Virginia. So there's that. And then we head to this House Republican leader, Todd Gilbert, posted his statement over the weekend. And he said, quote, while we and our Democratic colleagues may have differences, we will all stand in opposition to any threats of violence. Now to this tweet, another uh, our Attorney General Mark Herring hopes that everyone is coming today with peaceful intentions. So right now, gun rights activists are leaving Virginia Beach, or they already left Virginia Beach. They're heading to the Capitol on buses to participate in the rally. So now we're going to head over to Megan Shen live at the Indian River Road Park and Ride, where the buses left just about 30 minutes ago. Megan, what can you tell us? Ashley, as you guys have said all morning, the Virginia Citizens Defense League organized this rally as well as the transportation. So five buses just left this area at the park and ride off Independence Road in Virginia Beach. 275 people loaded onto those buses. I ended up speaking with one of the men about potential safety concerns about going to this rally. You could see he had a gun on him and even the bullets in his interview. Take a listen. This is more of a statement of support than anything else. This will not come out of my holster. The goal is obviously keeping it peaceful on both sides. Buses also left from Norfolk, Hampton, and Williamsburg. Those buses are expected to leave Richmond to return to their respective cities around two this afternoon. Live in Virginia Beach, Megan Shen, 13 News Now. And 13 News Now reporter Evan Watson is already in Richmond getting ready to cover today's events. Madeline Schmidt is on her way and they'll bring you more team coverage starting 13 News Now at noon.